first Burmese government, they are, until now, they have uh, formed several so-called investigation team, commission. But the report, the United Nations Fact-Finding Mission reports has uh, clearly indicated that this, uh, there is no, not possible to get any justice by any by any commission or by any any forms of I mean, uh, mechanism uh, initiated by the Burmese government, this should be from the outside by international community. So it is very important that international community come up for this case. There is also a responsibility according to, you know, this is a. Uh, Convention on uh, Convention to, on the Prevention and the uh, Punishment of uh, Crimes of Genocide in 1948. The convention is. According to that convention, they are obliged to take action and to prevent and to take action against the Burmese government. And on that basis, it is very important that. They take a strategy, said that they come in the some I mean, measures like a, I mean, a, a sanction, various kinds of sanction, to put pressure on the Burmese government. Country, we have to, we have the organization of Islamic cooperation. Uh, it's the second largest I mean uh, world bodies. They have lots of. Uh, Leverage on countries like uh, China and Russia, in fact, they can do that. But uh, the thing is, until now, I don't see that OIC is uh, is come up with the proactive policies on the Rohingya people. The UN Security Council is completely what's called uh, failing. It could not take care of the binding resolution on the Rwanda issues. Particularly because of the potential opposition from China and Russia. And at the same time, the international community and the United Nations, they need, in a state of looking for a binding resolution, now it's better, it will be, then they better take global consensus. Because as this is a genocide, this is a proof already, this criminal must be referred to the International Criminal Court. On the other side, the Burma is saying that they have not assigned the Rome Statute. The UNSC, United Nations Security Council, is the only organization which could trigger a comprehensive, I mean, the investigation by the ICC. We have very, we have a high expectation on the people and government of Turkey. And we are very pleased with their statements and the expression of solidarity with the Rohingya people, particularly by the President Erdogan. <coughs> and we hope Turkey can play a leadership role and the, in, the, in the Muslim world. And particularly, you know, this is a, the situation is such that when genocide is unfolding in a country, when there are many divisions among the world opinion to take actions, so this is the a role, an important role, need to be played by the Muslim leaders, like Erdogan and Turkey.